from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday Stop Stories. An investigation is underway to determine how a cargo ship carrying wood loaded with an invasive Asian beetle species was allowed to dock and offload in Freeport after being turned away from a U.S. port. Vomits National Trust Executive Director Eric Carey telling the media this. It appears that the vessel did not declare honestly what it had on board and indicated that there was no danger associated with the cargo and it was inadvertently cleared. There's concern that those beetles could do some serious damage to the already damaged pine forests in Grand Bahama and Abaco, still trying to recover from Hurricane Dorian if they should get out. The country moving on following Prime Minister Minister's message on Wednesday this week. The economy's not going to shut down again because of COVID, but there's danger from the virus. He urged persons to get vaccinated to protect themselves and to follow the recommended protocols. Opposition leader Davis is still commenting on the Prime Minister's Wednesday they addressed to the nation. Earlier, he said we're on the brink of a health catastrophe. Now he says the Prime Minister has no plan to tackle the search. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The numbers are still too high for health officials. 88 more confirmed cases reported for Wednesday. Spread over seven islands, 59 in the capital, 12 in Exuma. Single-digit numbers for Abaco, Grand Bahama, Bimini, Luther, and Andros. Healthcare workers are stretched. 106 persons are hospitalized with 11 in the ICU. This is what it's like at the Rand Hospital in Grand Bahama. Our ward that deals with our critical patients are full. That is our ICU, our ward at CAB, at the Cancer Society, and our med surge ward. They are all full with patients waiting in our emergency room. That is Sharon Williams, the administrator at the hospital in Freeport. No additional deaths have been reported. The total remains at 286. The U.S. government donating 20 vehicles to our police force. They'll be used in Grand Bahama and Abaco. Police in the capital looking into what is believed to be the drowning of a one-year-old child found at the bottom of a swimming pool. Latest NBA players Kai Jones picked 19th by the New York Knicks in last night's draft and trade it to the Charlotte Hornets. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, no systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs in the upper 80s, some low 90s, 89 at Freeport, 91 in the capital, 89 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now. The next high around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're approaching the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines. Several countries continue to battle with the ongoing spread of the coronavirus thanks to the Delta variant. Countries in South Asia are hard hit. Thailand has major problems with infections. In the U.S., the number of cases continues to increase as lawmakers argue about mask mandates. The CDC is recommending people wear masks inside, but there's plenty of pushback on that. President Biden now ordering tough vaccination rules for federal workers. In Hong Kong, the first protester tried under the new security law put in place there by the Chinese government has been sentenced to nine years in prison, seen as a sign that China is tightening its grip on the territory. Tribune's gas track of prices heading into the weekend, Shell 513, SO 517, Rubus $5.18 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. Get the reaction and see the pictures of Kai Jones on his big NBA draft night. The Tribune Sports has total coverage and total coverage of the Olympic Games. Track and field now underway. And find out how they settle a dispute on our track team in Tokyo. Get the latest on Major League Baseball, the National Football League, and a bodybuilding update is in the Tribune Sports Friday also. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.